Well, it is a wonderful pleasure to greet uh, and welcome President Rivlin on his first trip to the Oval Office as uh, the President of Israel. Uh, this gives us an opportunity to reaffirm uh, the unbreakable bonds between uh, our two countries and our two peoples. And uh, we are especially pleased that uh, President Rifkin and uh, Ms. Rifkin is gonna, are going to be able to join us uh, a little bit later this afternoon at the first of our two Hanukkah parties here at the White House. So uh, we, we feel very blessed by that. Um, you know, as I've reiterated uh, re uh, many times before, and uh, as I indicated uh, when Prime Minister Netanyahu was here, uh, you know, we consider our commitment to Israel's security uh, to be uh, one of the most important principles of American foreign policy. Uh, it's one that is shared by Democrats and Republicans alike. Uh, under my administration, I'm very proud uh, of the unprecedented uh, military and intelligence cooperation that we have uh, and the uh, s consistent uh, support that we've provided to uh, Israel's defenses. And uh, this will give us a chance to discuss uh, the, the future of that relationship. Uh, and uh, I'll discuss with President uh, Rivlin the work that we're doing uh, to develop another a memorandum of understanding that can lay the foundation for yes. uh, additional long-term uh, assistance for Israel's defenses. Uh, we'll also have a chance to talk about uh, what is a very volatile uh, neighborhood and the challenges that, that we all face from uh, terrorism, the challenges that we all face uh, from instability in the Middle East, uh, and I'll be very interested in hearing uh, President Rivlin's views uh, on those issues. Uh, and we'll have an opportunity to discuss uh, you know, the challenges that Israel faces uh, internally and the ways in which uh, we can be helpful in tamping down tensions uh, between Israelis and Palestinians. Uh, I've been very clear uh, in condemning uh, the violence that is uh, recurring uh, inside of Israel, uh, the need for uh, leaders like uh, President Abbas to unequivocally uh, condemn the violence uh, that's been taking place, uh, the need to end incitement, uh, but also uh, the need for Israelis and Palestinians to find uh, mechanisms in which to dialogue uh, and arrive at peace. Uh, and uh, although uh, obviously this is a, a time at which uh, it, it, the prospects of uh, serious peace uh, may seem distant. Uh, it's important that we continue to try. And I know that uh, President Rivlin uh, has made it one of his hallmarks uh, to improve dialogue between uh, Israelis and Palestinians and uh, uh, Arab Israeli citizens uh, and the larger majority. And so we very much appreciate the work that he's done there. So, Mr. President, uh, I look forward to our conversation. Uh, I want to welcome you here today. and. Uh, you are, as I said before the press came in, uh, among friends. We're glad that uh, uh, you're able to celebrate uh, Hanukkah with us here today. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the obvious should be said from time to time and even being written. Israel has no greater strength than the United States of America. That has to be very clear, and I say so, that loud and clear. Well, Mr. President, we are facing the future. And we would like, at the same time, to really thank you from the bottom of our heart, the people of Israel, about what you have done in the last six years for the finance, for the diplomatic, and for the military help that you are giving us. You are making us able to stand against threats of today and of tomorrow. I would like uh, also uh, to say that uh, we are very grateful to you about uh, the, uh, your declaration, about um, the uh, need to fight extremism, whatever and wherever it is. And we are really going hand in hand with the, those ideas and these ideas. We have no war. We have no war with Islam. We have war against those who are using ideas in order to create extremism and threats towards the whole innocent people in the world. Well, in later on, we are going to light the Hanukkah 
uh, candles. And uh, you know, the menorah, the Israeli menorah, the Jewish menorah has eight candles, four on each side. Mm -hmm. And in the middle, you have uh, what we call the shamash. The shamash is not civil servant, it's the leader. Leader who, with him, we are lighting all the candles. And uh, we know, Mr. President, that you have lit the candle for the last seven years uh, to show the way and the right way to your people and to the entire world. And we are very sure that the eight candles that you will light in the next year will be the same to show the whole world how to go in the light and to be able to fight everything that uh, sh we should not accept and we should not uh, get along with. God bless you, Mr. President. God bless the state of America. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you.